Hello, folks. Okay, we're making our final leg to Victory Road, the Elite Four, in the surprise final boss fight with our rival. With us is one of the more esoteric members of the Walthus Club, Mega Gundam Man. Say hi. Greetings, everyone. I'm yes. proud to be here, and we're, and we're on our way to, to, to the Pokemon League, and we got all the badges. Oh, look who it is. Yes, it's Douchebag. It's <laughs> Gary Mother Effin' Oak. Yes. That's cool, yeah. Oh, please. Yeah. Yeah, uh, right. While I Bring it! While I, excuse me, while I roll you over like a dog. Like a ro roller. <laughs> Roda, roller? Nah. That's a triple layered joke. There's a bit of Toho, a bit of JoJo's Adventure, and a bit of Vocaloid in there. <laughs> yeah! Surf's up! Yes! Surfing Pikachu, your reward for beating round one of Stadium One. Of <laughs> yeah! Do any of that in emulation. <laughs> so, oh well. Woo, man! In. Level 7, you had time to grind. Uh, yeah, it takes a long time. Time. I know how I know how you feel. Presumably the the battle against the battle against the incoming enemy from here to, to all the way straight to the all the way straight to to Gary once again would indeed be the hardest battle. But yes, since you pretty much so train like mad, this shouldn't be prop this shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, I'll say this much. We will not be fighting Pokemon in Victory Road. I have everything that you could possibly hope to catch in there. Rhydon, Geodude, Onyx, I believe Machokes. Yes, Machokes. And a couple of other things. The only thing left in there that's worth getting is the boss, Moltres. Yes, the third bird. Toasty! <laughs> How's about them fry scrambled eggs? Oh, yes, let's bring in the other heavy duty starter. Hi, Ran. It's actually amazing how fast he levels this gang up, punching his way through Victory Road. Yep. Sorry to put, sorry to put out your campfire, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he, he goes from like the, the 40s and 50s to freaking 60s and almost 70. Yeah. It's like a 20 level I don't know how he does that. I think he's hacking. I've been hacking too. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Pikachu again. Loister. To be, to be told, I back then when I would play this game, anyways, I had one hell of a time being him, anyways. Really now? Yes, Gary. This fight with Gary isn't that tough. But, I know. Uh, oh, Kadabra. As we I've don't... mentioned many times before, Kadabra, the, the entire Abra family, incredibly powerful. Pretty they're fast. Pretty, they're they pretty good on special attack and speed, of... but they don't. But they do jack squat and defense. Yeah, they're basically made of toilet paper. So, what is slam? Oh, first we gotta survive psychic. Which, <laughs> which I didn't even do jack shit. <laughs> Let me give you a hug. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> I think he settled into your belly button. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, now this is a bit of a gamble here, what I'm about to do. The only thing we can get ground type move in my repertoire is Charizard. Well, and this is actually the first time you see his evolution of his Eevee. Is right yep. Here. Level difference allows me to outspeed it. Oh, that would have been bad. Damn right. You, if you use fly, you be a don. You be done. Oh yeah. Electric type moves. Dragon. Flying type moves. Yep. Curb stomped. Not, not really. <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah, and he somehow gains 20 levels for almost all of his Pokemon in Victory Road alone. How do you even do that? I swear the guy just is hacking. But then again, he's Gary Mother Effing Oak. He's getting better by the minute. Yeah. 
Yes, here we are. Like a machine. One league. Plug gate. I'm not gonna lie. When I first got here, I kind of feel the, the I kind of felt the tension going in, in this level. Boulder badge from Pewter City, courtesy of Rock. Yes. Cascade badge from Misty of Cerulean City. Indigo Plateau, the, the ultimate, ultimate goal for trainers. Pokemon League HQ, serving both the Kanto and Johto leagues. Back then, when I read the signs of, of HQ, I meant that I thought they meant. The, it was it was the bad guy's hideout. Thunder badge from Lieutenant Surge of Vermilion City. Yes, potentially one of the scariest trainers in the entire game due to the fact that his Raichu is confirmed as killing people. Damn right, and it's damn strong too. Oh yeah, especially in yellow. Rainbow for, Rainbow badge from Erica of Celadon City. Okay, now for humor. Okay. Surfing Pikachu. <laughs> Soul oh, badge from Koga of Fusa City. Dude, wait, 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 wait. There's a hidden item in, in, in this area. That's what I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, oh. Good call. I may have forgotten to mention these wa watcher, but in back at the game corner on, in the checker floor, there were a whole bunch of coins to, to be gathered. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I Horse badge from I... Saffron City, from Sabrina, yeah. Yes. <laughs> there used to be another badge at Saffron City, but Sabrina kind of creamed the Karate Master. <laughs> Am right. Okay, here's the tricky part. This is where I'm gonna start dropping my repels. Actually gotten more. Oh yeah, that would have been useful. Remember the mankeys that you found in, in Route 22? Well, meet their older cousins and primates. Volcano badge from Cinnabar Island, from Blaine of Cinnabar Island. Arriving to the last gate. This is the trickiest of them all. The Earth badge from Giovanni of Viridian City. And right now we're about to go. We're about to go to the Victory Road. Victory Road, the which is there's a cave, cave set up a building. What the hell? Yeah. Also, you have to do switch puzzles. Yep. That's why we've got the big brute Snorlax with us. Like, dude, why is there a effing cave inside of a building? Okay, I can understand. Uh, having. A, a rocky structure inside of a gym based off a of rock. That's easy. But an entire landscape inside of a building? That kind of... That's kind of mind-blowing. Yeah, it's... And... The switch looks like a freaking magnifying glass. Indeed it did. And... You don't want to push it any farther up, otherwise it gets stuck and you have to come back in here. And the boulders look like some sort of... Some, some sort of stuff that, come, that came from Hostess. <laughs> Now that's the stuff! Oh, <laughs> I miss that company. <laughs> oh, good stuff there. Okay, uh... Anyway, we've arrived at the point for any anyways where it... We, we, yeah, that boulder... That boulder's pretty much the way out. There's every one of them in the, in the floors up ahead. Yes, and also, fair warning, there are trainers here, and you know what? But not I just skipped, any I trainers. I too many trainers across my journey. I'm gonna start fighting them again. Yeah. But in this place, it's not just any trainers. We've arrived at the point from where we encountered the cool, the, the top tier trainers known as the cool trainers, which instead of just carrying two or three sets of the same type of Pokemon, they have a multitude and are armed to the teeth with so many top tier final evolution, one or no evolution Pokemon, just ready to bring you down hard. Yeah, and this you've, only, you, you've probably only met one or two cool trainers across your journey. You'll start seeing a lot of them in here. Damn and right. Most of them are after Moltres. Yep. Which conveniently, this place is. Which conveniently, it was placed due to the anime for the ceremonial flames of Indigo Plateau by Char by President Charles Goodview, also Charlie. Yes. It's many spec. It's actually speculated that Victory Road is lit by Moltres. Indeed. That's why it's all bloody red. Yeah, you did lost out. What were you thinking? <laughs> 
You, you're not gonna bump any you items up it, ahead. You see it in the later versions, you could because the, sc the screen would scroll up. Yeah. Literally, the screen would scroll up so his alert bubble could pop up. Right. Oh, you're gonna see how good you are, and by the time you're done, you're gonna be shitting your- you're gonna be, uh, nothing. <laughs> what about your head? <laughs> yeah! Oh, look, Ivysaur. Guess what hey, I Ivysaur. got? Me Charizard. Oh, and by the oh, way, Charizard I missed. is double resistant to grass moves. Oh, I missed! <laughs> <laughs> you might be wondering why I over level. Uh, one, the Elite 40 hits like a truck. Two, Damn right. You two hits like a truck. Of course, this is the last point of the game, and everything's supposed to be brutally hard. And I mean hard. I mean, when. Yeah, they're kind of under level for the area. I mean, you're gonna be seeing level 50 Pokemon if you don't have your repel on. Yeah, the, the victory row is pretty much the gathering place of, of, of somewhat in the, the mid-level mooks before facing the high-level head, high-level head honchos. Yes, although the toughest stuff is in Cerulean Cave, lurking around Mewtwo. Damn right. Everything's, everything's going on from 50s to 60s. Yeah, the, man's, the man seems to just gather strong Pokemon to him. Mm-hmm. All right. Or, I think that Mewtwo must be their mentor. Well, as one... I forget who it was that uh, suggested... Oh yeah, it was... Uh, I forget who suggested it, but... Ditto could be a failed clone of Mew. And Mewtwo, in the games, actually cares a lot more about Mew than he does in the anime. Right. So... Wait, don't switch. I know what I'm doing. Watch this. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> So you managed to get. So this guy managed to have, t man managed to have the three starters, but put them in midpoint and didn't only evolve them, but only evolve this guy. Yeah, it, it, not evolving your Pokemon when you can, as far as level-based evolutions go, is dumb unless the pre-evolved form can learn a move that the final form can't. Yeah. To the guy right there who lost, you didn't even have one snowball's chance of being him. Yeah, this is Ashton Red Ketchum, the future league champ. Yeah. You know the funny thing about when I saw the, the, the trees in the, in, in the game the first time? I used to think those were pieces of broccoli that fell off from the pe vegetarian pizza I had back then when I was playing this game in, in a summer. <laughs> summer. Seriously, they do, like, they do look like broccoli stalks. They do, I'll give you that. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna get in there. That's actually where Moltres is. That trainer is kind of just sitting there, like, super intimidated by him. <laughs> oh, look, it's a hiker. Yeah, oh, hikers oh, carry ground types and fighting types. Oh, wait, no, wait, that's oh, a boy, super oh, that's, ah, that's a black belt. And they got their usual fighting types. I'm well, surprised. Really, you don't have much of a choice in fighting types in Gen 1. It's either the Machop family, uh, Primate, or the Hitmonster. Right. They all... There's Machokes in this area, yet there's no Machamp. It's just kinda sad. Well, Machamps kinda require special circumstances to evolve. I know, trade. Funnily enough, though, any Pokémon that evolves via trading with a held item or just through trading, they have the same level-based learn set as the previous form. Meaning, for us cheaters, you don't need to trade at all. Damn all right. It's just put in the code for the higher form after you evolve your little baby Machop, for instance, into a Machoke. Then you can just catch a Machamp, a, a Machamp at like level five and raise it up really, really good, so it has maximum EV training. Right. And furthermore, vitamins don't quite max out your EVs in the, this gen, but Gen two onward they do because of the re, the uh, reconfiguration of the effort value system. Right. I've just been doing a little bit of studying on it, and I don't know the full... I don't understand the full system of it, but vitamins boost your effort values on a Pokemon. Damn. Nice. Again, this, step, this type of thing was very new to me, like, I don't know, in Gen 4. And yeah, evolving... Yeah, what you... On what you're doing anyways, that's just... That's kind of like when you're using a game link cable in the Pokemon oh, yeah. 
There he is! There's Mulches up there. We just caught a right. glimpse of him. Right. The Firebird. No, I think that was a spicy chicken right there. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Yeah, it looks like there's nothing here. Looks like we're gonna. Oh wait. Skip past the trigger. Oh. Nope. I like the story background in in the floor right there. Yeah, you can see that little uh, blockade there. We're gonna I know need to go to the third floor and get another rock. Yeah, that's what you kind of what you need to do because the exit right there is in the second floor. Never know the fact that you want to get Moltres. Oh Persia, you're you're. You're so menacing, anyways. If you're if, if you if you were to Pikachu's level right now, but nope, you're just nothing. Yeah, Persia is a relatively versatile creature. Damn right, it's plus of two. Like all normal types, it's overshadowed by a lot of the other uh, elemental type uh, critters. By that the way, said, I kill the Kappa right there. Nice. Uh, that said, Furt, the fuzzy ferret of Gen Two, the stupidly common normal type. For Johto is extremely versatile, capable of learning many TMs and a couple of HMs as well. I know, and it's so goddamn cute. Yes, it is. It's not quite as cute as Eevee. Ooh, full heal. Every time when I get an Eevee, you know which one, which one I prefer to go with? Umbreon, because it's got the, because it's a wall. Use that stout strength of yours, big guy. Move those chunky Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, on the Jeez, subject, uh, on the subject of victory roads, most of the victory roads from Gen One to Gen Four have all been have all been one thing: caves. But as time progressed, they started adding more and more elements, like more more water holes or waterfall areas. Especially until Gen 5 Part 1, it was all just a cliffside mountain wall, mountain victory road. Full of many ton, one half going tr going to up, a, up a cliff wall, while the other half going through the many caves. Alright, now we're gonna be, uh, clever. Right. Slip right past this trainer guarding Gen, Gen, Gen 5 had a legendary inside, a trio legendary inside there, like the Gen 1. Yes. Now comes anyway. the fun part. Save state! Right. The Firebird, Moltres. Roar! Roar! I'm actually kind of afraid because this is a very potential chance I oh, might one shot him. Oh, do not! Oh yeah. <laughs> Too freaking powerful. I saw that coming. We're gonna have to. I know. That's the same thing when I. When, that's the same thing when I try to get the Dratinis today. Can you believe how, m how many times I killed a whole bunch of Dratinis? Ugh. I had a miserable. At least they hand you one in Gen 2. At least if you're. There we go! That's the way! Okay, leave it there. Yeah, Fire Spin. The one potential move that we. The one potential fire attack we can rely on besides Flamethrower. Not! Fire Blast is powerful. Of course, they're, of course, it's you, power. I won't need to blow all 22 of my Ultra Balls. I'm gonna need a lot of them from you too. <laughs> it's not that it's in. It's not that it's not effective. It's just because it, it's indirect. It's because it's indirect at times. And yeah, can I can I go? Uh, can I go out of my I way saying? Catch rate. Can I go out of my way saying how BS that catch rate is? That they put right there. How can you miss up? A Pokemon if you if it's just right there That was a stupid plot. They just I implemented there. Venusaur in to, um, use sleep powder, but, uh, You forgot it? Well, no, it has it. I had to get rid of toxic, but it's got sleep powder You might as well do that Yeah, I'm just worried about it blasting away with peck or fire spin don't worry, that Venusaur's got a lot of HP. It can stand a few, two or three hits. See? Yeah, you got a point there. <laughs> I know my stuff. Oh, what the? Ugh. Holy crap! For a 
legendary bird, you do piss me damage! <laughs> <laughs> Like, did I feel that? <laughs> okay, that was kind of like a mild sunburn. Yeah. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, let's try this again. Trying to smoke this turkey. That's yes! Another perfect attempt like the first two. Well, this is actually the cleanest capture of the three. Zapdos and Articuno, uh... Successfully inflicted casualties. Mainly on Venusaur. <laughs> but now, apparently. Yeah, drill pack hurts. I'm right. One shot. Anyway, that's all she. Whoa! You know what? Yeah, fight him. Uh, no, duh, stupid! Yes, well, remember, they're speaking to a 10 year old kid, not a player. Right. Anyways, back on the subject of the Victory Roads, yeah, they're from Gen 1 and Gen 4, they were all rock caves. Which from Gen and then Gen 5 was apparently Part 1 was apparently a cliff site, a cliff site 1. But but Gen 5 Part 2 had more elements because at, when the first, the beginning part of that place started with a gloomy temple, then through a forest, then through a valley river, and then through a, another cliff site cave. Really varying it out. Like yeah, that. and I gotta say, they they went all out, out of the way, out of the way doing that. Oh, crit! Death crit! <laughs> Look at Kong! You can only you get that through trade in any version. Yeah, apparently this guy's supposed to be based off a of hippopotamus. Hippos don't have like that. Well, that's what it says in the Pokédex. Anyway, headbutt. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> Snorlax is just a big bully in Gen One. He's a tough cookie. Or the, or the big level lug known as, based off of Ed from Ed and Eddie. I always used to, I used to, I used to think of Snorlax as Ed because, oh, come let's on. face it, Ed is just ridiculously so funny. Cool. It reset huh? the freaking brick. It reset the block puzzle. Ugh! Yeah, that's it. That is so stupid right there. But yeah, back on the subject anyways, about about Snorlax. It reminds me much of Ed, the monobrow. Yes. But trust me, the, the, I'm not sure if the puzzle of Gen 3 is, is more for, forgivable, forgivable than this one, but yeah, that is... That is a D-I-C-K move right there. And one of the more controversial TMs of Gen 1, 47, Explosion. Oh, that's where it came from. I mean, it was, it was, for, it was first a TM, then taken out, and then brought back again on Gen 4. Alright, we've got the route cleared. I'm done with trainers. Huh. Seeing as how you're godly powerful than than most of them, there isn't there is no point in to stick it around. Oops, this could be difficult. Oh, never mind. That guy's nearsighted as all get out. Whoops. <laughs> in Gen 2, the rock apparently would indeed hit the ground. When you push it down the hole. Yeah, pushing the rocks can get outright tedious. By the way, this guy's a juggler. Yes, well, we are done with trainers. I think that guy had more Voltorbs. Ugh, I hate Voltorbs. Anyway, here we are. And here back out, anyways. <laughs> now you gotta get past this maze full of pillars. Oh! Criminy. Yeah. It's a friggin' maze. Yeah, like I said, a maze full of pillars. I believe there was a hidden item in one of them. Oh. Purple. 
Actually, it's, it's it's the color indigo. Can I go can I go out of my way saying this is the, pretty much the coolest section in the entire game right there? Absolutely. It's solid. It feels like it feels like you're in the top military zone. We have the final Pokemart. Right. Which sells Ultra Balls, full restores, which restore health and status. Max potions, refill all your HP, full heals. A Back cure all, effectively. Revives, max repels. That's all it's got. All the wares. Back then, I used to st I used to stock 10 max potions and 11 full restores. Yeah, I've got full heals, but I need to get some full restores. <laughs> Hell, max potions would be that. That said, I don't need max potions. I've got a gajillion lemonades. <laughs> They're more All delicious. Right. Okay. We're and we're ready. We are just about ready, yes. That's the cable club. Absolutely useless in an emulator. <laughs> Back then, not anymore. Yeah, you can actually fish in Lorelei's gym. Which is hilarious. <laughs> I know. Alright. Alright. State 9. Okay.